about to demonstrate some special combat tactics here at Greenwood Lake. Get your cameras and your camcorders ready. You don't want to miss this. We've got a special helicopter. Look at this on the left. This is a tank killer. You're the bad guys. This is not what you want to see. Built by Sikorsky, it's a four-blade twin-engine medium lift utility helicopter manufactured by Sikorsky of America. Entered service with the U.S. Army back in 1979 to replace the UH-1 Iroquois, or the Huey as it was called, as the Army's tactical transport helicopter. This has been followed by a lot of different versions of this aircraft. Now what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate fast rope insertion extraction system for pride. The idea is that the helicopter doesn't have to land to deploy troops. They're going to repel right from the helicopter. There's the rope. Meanwhile, the other helicopter is keeping them covered just in case the bad guys decide they want to make a move of any kind. Here we go. Here's Propelli. That's one. Here comes number two. Here's number three. They're going to get down off the helicopter and assume a combat position and survey the situation. There's number four. And here's another one. The idea is to get safely on the ground and take up positions to protect your buddies. Meanwhile, the tank killer is out there holding positions ready to take any kind of action necessary to protect them. The rope is down. And away they go. jump up from a big, big rope and slide down it wearing heavy gloves. At the bottom, you just let go of the rope and you're ready to fight. It is used when the chopper can't land. It is very fast and troops carry only what is needed for an immediate attack. This is also used when the chopper needs to be out of the way as soon as possible. It is also much more dangerous and you cannot bring a full rucksack with you. This method of insertion allows soldiers to respond to crises and to be inserted as a quick reaction force. It also allows them to conduct missions requiring stealth and to board vessels while at sea. But as they say, what goes down must come up. Now, we gotta pick them up. The mission is accomplished. The helicopter's back into place. You've got to extract your crew. And I have to tell you, this technique is pretty radical. I imagine it's quite a rush, but nonetheless, it takes a lot of guts and a lot of training. Special Patrol Insertion Extraction System, which was developed as a means to rapidly insert and or extract a reconnaissance control from an area that 
Project does not permit a helicopter to land. The spy has application for rough terrain as well as water inserts and extracts and is an adaptation of the Vietnam War era Stabo grid. Now what they're going to do is they've lowered the rope and the control personnel, each wearing a harness with an attached carabiner, will hook up onto a D-ring inserted in the side rope. A second safety line is attached to a second D-ring located above the first. When they're all hooked up and ready to go, the helicopter will lift vertically from the extraction zone until the rope and the personnel are clear of, the, of all obstacles and obstructions and then proceeds in forward flight to a secure insert zone. The rope and personnel are treated as an external load and air speeds, altitudes, and oscillations must be monitored. And I'm sure that in just a moment, they're going to get themselves checked out, hooked up, and ready to go with this technique. like this, you've got to have it right the first time. Here comes the lift. Control getting underneath the helicopter as the helicopter starts to climb out. And away you go. You are going to fly like Superman. Everybody give them a big wave if they have out. And you can see they are waving back indeed. Thank you very much. That's got to be a scary ride. And away they go. Thank you so much. The 1st Battalion, 150th Aviation Regiment. Can you imagine the people out on the roads there seeing four guys hanging from a rope on that helicopter? Look at the swing on that thing. Oh, it takes a special kind of courage to do that. Because I would look at that and I would say no. Unless, of course, somebody was shooting at me, in which case I would say, what's taking you so long? Tell you what, I bet the air conditioning is working real good there. All right, everybody, let's wave at them again as they go by. way of flying that I have ever seen. And then they get to swing again. You know, if it wasn't for the fact that it was in a combat zone, this would be quite a thrill ride. I bet you that there's a bunch of kids out there who are looking at this thinking, oh yeah, I want to do this. But ladies and gentlemen, let me remind you, these gentlemen are highly trained professionals. Do not do this at home. And they're down safe. Now 
seeing is how this is a demonstration and not actually a combat zone, they're going to pack up their gear, get in the helicopter, and fly out the normal way. But it's good to know that our troops are trained to do this just in case they have to. Because it sure is a quick way to get in and out of Dodge in a hurry. I wouldn't call it a retreat, but what I would call it would be running away bravely. Oh. 